When you win a contract, the contracting officer will send you an email giving you access to IPP. You do not need to log into IPP. You do not need to set up anything. They will do it on their end. But you need to make sure the email that they send you, that you save it and do not delete it. So you'll get two emails. One of the emails you're gonna receive is going to be a new user ID notification letting you know that you have now been put into IPP and here is your username. Please make sure to save this in a file folder on your email or write it down. You will need this in order to log in. 24 hours later or sometimes the same day, you'll get another email giving you the password. Once you have that username and password, you will then head over or click on the link in the email or the IPP website to log in. You will then be sent to the IPP's registration page. On this page, it's gonna ask you, are you a supplier or are you an agency? You are a supplier, so you're gonna click on supplier and be sent to the login page. Remember to use the email and password that was sent to you in the email that you got from the contract officer. Here you recreate a new password, but remember you need to use the password from the email that they sent you. So what I would recommend you do is go ahead, take a look at the old password from the email they sent you, copy and paste it into the form so that you don't mess up the password, and then come up with your own password based on the requirements above. You're going to select change password and now you have set up your new password. You can click on continue and it will bring you to a page about the terms and conditions. Feel free to read that. Once you do, please make sure you click I agree and then it's gonna bring you to a page for your authentication questions. Please make sure that you read how many questions need to be put below? As you will see later on in the video, I did not do that. So you only need to put in three answers to these questions. Pick the three questions that you want to answer and fill out the answer. to put the answer at the bottom as shared secret just in case you forget your answers then you have another question to ask you to get your password reset so go ahead and put something in there based on the based on the characters that are allowed once you complete it click next now, once again, as I stated earlier in the video, I did not follow the instructions. You only need to put three questions. So if you did what I did, go ahead and delete three of the questions and then click on next. Now you are completed and you have your confirmation. Congratulations, you are now able to submit invoices to the federal government. Go ahead and click finish and go to your dashboard. This is where all of your invoices and requests for services will be. That's it. You can log out and now you're ready to go. Remember to give me a dollar and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. See you later. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more tutorials.